chances are you don't have a teenager in your house. New Kids are a band, one that's created a craze among teens. As TV2's Mike Redford reports from the Palace of Auburn Hills, it's driving parents crazy as well. Yeah. See Tommy Did he give you a kiss too, did he? No, no, he just touched my hand. I'm never going to touch my hand again. No. They're typical of the fans who turned out to see New Kids on the Block. The band's draw is very simple. They're better cute. than anybody else. They're, They're good looking. Awesome. Yeah. If, yeah. if they didn't have music, I'd still be in love with them. But new kids do play music and dance, and they do it pretty well. Holders of the nation's number one single and number one album on some pop charts. Fan members, like most of the audience, on a day over 21. Amidst the new kids' craze and the 20,000-plus screaming teenagers are their parents. Many are here right at the palace but prefer to sit the songs out in a quieter place. Quiet rooms are where some 1,600 parents spent the evening. That's about 1,000 more parents compared to any other concert. And so many parents provided the transportation to the new kids' concert for teens too young to drive. But being in the quiet room is exactly where these parents want to be. All the noise and all the girls screaming out there, there's plenty of that going on. That's your cup of tea. No, not necessarily, no. Well, I didn't think the tickets were important. They didn't want me in there with them anyway. They didn't? No. They had uh, too embarrassed for their dad to go in there in a concert with them. As to what the parents think of the band itself? It's a great group. Yeah. It's a great group. I spent a lot for my daughter. Yeah. She was a shy child and had some problems. And this group and the things that they write and the things they say and the things they stand for, it's been good for her. The new kids have a chance to impress more parents and another 20,000 fans Wednesday night. That's the second of two sold-out concerts at the Palace. In Auburn Hills, Mike Redford, TV2 Eyewitness News.